infrastructure is responsible for more than half of the UK's carbon emissions. And we engineers must step up. I'm attracted to ground engineering or geotechnical engineering is because it brings together the arts and the science. For the past 10 years, um, my focus has been on the use of the observation method. As a geotechnical engineer, we are dealing with soils or rock. This is uh, nature. There's so much uncertainties there. So to deal with these kind of materials, you need a lot of experience and engineering judgment. That's what the beauty of the obstruction method. It can be applied in tunnels, embankment, earthwork, power foundations. You use the site data to improve your design. You allow your design to be changed during construction. This method can help the engineers develop a design which is more lean and more beautiful. In a traditional design, you have to fully develop a design. And then as a designer, of course, um, there are a lot of things you don't know what will happen. You don't know what's the actual behavior of the wall. You don't know what is the actual behavior of the ground. If you use a traditional approach to build it a lot of factor safety, it may come out the design overly conservative, or sometimes it's very difficult to build for the contractor, and also very carbon heavy. So the good thing about the absorption method, of course, we can push our boundary. We start challenge the status quo to see, okay, do we need this further safety or not? Based on the data on site deck now, we strip off all the unnecessary things in our design and then we produce a much leaner design and we measure it. We put more instruments and we measure it. We work collaboratively with the contractor because um, as uh, designers, you can use the method to produce lean and more beautiful design. Contractors can use the method to plan the, the constructions and to complete the job faster, and easier, and safer. The current project, the High Speed 2 Area North, contract N1 N2, let's say we're talking about materials alone. If we manage to omit all the temporary works now for the, uh, the part of the assets that are currently working on, it can save at least six million pounds, I would say, um, and also maybe up to 4,000 tonnes of carbon emissions. As an engineer, addressing carbon emissions is our job. Why I say that? Because we have the skills and we have the influence. So we must bring a change at speed.